This is Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place, being joined alongside Brian Cage. These might be the only two guys in the building that are bigger than even you. Uh, you know, you might be right. I heard those numbers on the introduction. I was like, oh, damn. The, uh, they are legit super heavyweights. Though, you know, not, not to point out any uh, flaws, but I can tell either one of them are not quite the machine that I am, but still, super heavyweights nonetheless. Well, you're gonna think that uh, carrying so much weight, I mean, they're not a cardio freak like you are. So this one's going to be a short and impactful matchup. You know what, too? And I, I haven't seen much of Brian, though. You think I'd be partial to him sharing the first name. But uh, Ace Romero, though, has uh, has quite surprised me oh, what shit. I've seen of him as far as his, uh, his ability and movement in the ring. Yeah, Ace Romero, relative newcomer, uh, trained alongside Biff Busick and uh, actually had some training from the Dudleys as well. Brian Malone is a 15-year veteran of New England independent wrestling. So Ace Romero feels like, uh, you know, his time has come. He wants to be the best big man in New England. Brian Malonis, he's just going to announce the ring about our top prospect tournament. Uh, he feels like his time has not come up. He's been wrestling for how long? Almost 15 years. 15 years, huh? If you Google Vince McMahon, Brian Malonis, there's an awesome picture of the two of them together from when uh, John Cena and Vince McMahon appeared for Chaotic Wrestling. Look at you. I'm impressed right now. You're dropping the Matt Strecker quotes and, and, and the knowledge. These wrestlers, I like You be, you be <laughs> Vampiro then. I was going fast. I mean, who do you give the advantage to? Is, is this the type of thing where, I mean, when a guy is as big as these guys are, just, does the experience advantage go to, or, or you know, it, obviously, Brian Lawrence has more experience, but he's also older, so is that going to affect his conditioning more? Or when you're that big, it just doesn't matter? Uh, you know what? I, I would, as you said, I would expect either one of these guys to be the most... Uh, cardiovascular, you know, blessed, but just because I'm, I'm being more partial just from what I've seen with, with Romero, I think to him being new and younger, maybe a little hungrier, he came out, he looked a little more uh, excited to be here, you know, a little, a little more, with more intent in mind, so. Yeah, he, I, he, I mean, he really, you know, when you're, when you're the kingpin, Brian Malonis, and you've been the king and you're at the top, you know, maybe he does get a little bit complacent. Maybe he does get a little bit more comfortable. As Ace Romero, you know, potentially still has the rest of his career ahead of him. So, Ace Romero, though, only Which competed. Pick him off his feet right there, too. See? He competed in a, in a six-man tag team match last night, whereas Brian Malonis was defeated in a grueling one-on-one -on -one encounter against JT Dunn. So, Malonis may not be 100% coming to this match. Yeah, see, he could still be a little beat up to early Sunday afternoon. You got Romero over here with something to prove. You know, I, I, I'm gonna go. Oh! Something to prove, man. The bigger you are, the harder you fall. 400 pounds of Ace Romero just crashed down into the corner. Oh. And Malonis with the hip attack. I feel like whenever you're 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 over 300, that's like a mandatory move you do. The old the old hip attack in the corner. Well, you don't have to leave your feet because think about it. Every time one of these guys leaves their feet, it's going to be that much more difficult. They're going to have to expend that much more energy just to get back up to a vertical base. So you want to attack with your body, but you want to do it from a a scenario where you're not going to be uh, giving up too much. I am a little bit surprised to see Malone is kind of bang the rules right there. Obviously, guys this big, it's hard enough for them to breathe as it is, but. That's a big shortcut trying to choke him with that steel cable. Now he's stepping on his hand. Well, I like that. I didn't even notice that. I'm watching the match, I didn't see that. I wasn't sure what was going on there. That's, that's, that's a dirty tactic. But I like the intricacy of it. But as close to it gets to, uh, to capacity here at Electric Case in Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah, I was just noticing this. There's a good little draw here. It's the first time being here myself. And this looks like a nice little packed house. Yeah, the crowds here at Worcester, they're, they're pretty uh, they're pretty bloodthirsty. We've got some uh, some outrageous matches for them later on, but not to take anything away from these two behemoths in the ring. It's 
Ace Romero is holding on for dear life, and Brian Malone is having a little bit of trouble moving him. You know, if, if, if Keith Lee and myself was a hoss fight, what what would this be? It's a I'm super hoss fight. That's what I'm saying. This, this, this is a, a bigger, bigger tipping on the scale than myself and Keith. Like you so. said, these guys are the super heavyweights. I mean, these guys are, you know, the legit super heavyweights. The Bam Bam Bigelows, the, Ro the Yoko Zunas, you know, and the Brian Malonis and the Ace Romero's of professional wrestling. Now Malone is looking to scale the ropes. Oh, just driving down the knee to the chest. You know, typically with a larger athlete, they like to dictate the pace of the match. So I don't know if that's necessarily going to be a factor as this bout continues. Although Malone has slowed it down, and he is currently on top. Yeah, you know, I picked, I picked Romero. He got that, that big shoulder tackle. He got the, the big man off his feet the first, the first fall of the match. But uh, after that, it's been... Malone, 24/7. That might have been again the veteran wherewithal, knowing how to basically lure his uh, opponent to a false sense of security and then take advantage. And Romero barely stirring in the corner, but maybe he's playing possum. Maybe this is a veteran maneuver out of the rookie Ace Romero. Instead, he's just getting choked. Yeah, Brian Malone is calling Ace Romero fat boy. Yeah. A little, little, little contradictory. Taking it, you know, he said too. Uh, he might be making a rookie mistake. He's a veteran, but he's over there on top of him, control the match, pulling his hair. Uh, he's kind of giving it away. He let him come back. I, I don't know if that was such a smart maneuver. Can Esther Mara learn how to throw those chops from Biff Busick? He's got some heavy hands. <laughs> Brian Malone has a heavy everything else. He's going to hook by the head. You think he's going to be able to suplex him? Woo! We're talking about being careful not to break the ring. These guys might do it themselves. <laughs> You only got one ring. When the ring breaks, the show stops. Jockeying for position as Romero is trying to find his footing. He's pushed Malone his back. Now he's got him hooked. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, and he took him over. A snap suplex. It wasn't pretty, but it's not going to be when you're 800 pounds. But Ace Romero not able to capitalize. If anything, it looks like Malonis is stirring first. Both guys back up to a vertical base. So here's my boy. Laying in the he's laying in the chops, coming back. Missing wildly with that strike. Oh, I thought he had him. Oof. You know, as big as these guys are, and knowing myself too, because I'm not a small guy, I'm working other plenty of big guys. Not only is it such a feat of strength, it takes so much out of someone you pick them up and drop them, but to be able to actually do the picking up is almost equally as tiring. Uh, he got me. I thought he was going to pick him up for that slam, but I can see how much that He's going to try it again, though. Oh, no. Instead, maybe a fireman's carry. Oh! Big Samoan drop. Able to drape the arm this time. See, you see what I'm talking about right there when he goes to that cover? He looked almost like he took the move there because it exhausts so much. He gets a great pop from the crowd. Everybody loves it. But it, it, it's a change it, real quick when you're picking up guys over 300 pounds. Romero is still trying to earn fans here in Beyond Wrestling. So he does have to take more risks in order to gain that popularity. But like you said, it did just as much because both guys are back up at virtually the same time. And it was Malonis that got, got landed on, essentially. No, I guess in fairness, Romero has taken more of the punishment throughout the match, but... Big shot to the head. It sounds like Romero's won up the crowd pretty well. He said he's still trying to get over. Oh, rocked him that time. Malone has cleared that distance pretty quickly for somebody his size. Oh, wow. This is amazing for their size. Oh, my God. One of these guys is going to get pushed out of the ring. Oh. I love, I love the new age of the big guys these days. Speaking of athletic big guys, I was a little, uh, I was a little confused at first when uh, when Brian came out because his intro music, if I'm not mistaken, was the same intro, intro music. It's Jeff, as Cobb. Jeff Cobb. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah wait a minute, I've heard that before. Jeff Cobb, definitely another heavyweight that's been making waves. I mean, he was an Olympic, literally an Olympic caliber athlete competing in the Olympics. Definitely a different strategy. He's not as he's big, he's a big guy. He ain't as big as these guys. No. I, I will give the Jeff though. He's probably the strongest arm in the ring. Well, him and Dickinson wrestled back in December. 
and Dickinson was just manhandled. But, I mean, so you've competed against opponents the size of Brian, I mean, uh, excuse me, uh, Jeff Cobb. Oh, yeah, is, yeah. It, is it harder, you as a, as a power wrestler, as a big guy yourself, to wrestle other bigger wrestlers? Do you have to change your strategy? Uh, you know, I got, I got that versatility. That's why I'm trying to be the all around best. I can do a little more of my agile cruiserweight stuff. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. But going back to what I said earlier, it does drain your energy more. You know, do all my big power lifting moves. The guys are 260, 270, 280, 300 pounds. So, I mean, it, well, Ace was looking for a huge moonsault. Instead, just slammed down with a power oh. wall. Ace was setting up for that moonsault. Oh! He landed the first strike. Oh! And I think that's gonna do it. Malonis wins. Thank you, Brian.